Hi everyone and welcome to my first and possibly last video blog. This is what I wanted to show you today. It's the Asus ePad Transformer tablet um, running Android 3.2 which is Google's latest operating system. Um, I'll show you a few of the things it can do. You've got different home screens here. For, I've set it up for different members of the family. You can see my son has insisted I install a train simulator. He's only three but he's already a bigger geek than I am. Show you some of the other things that this can, this little machine can do. Um, it's got a full uh, HD movie player on here. So, for example, we can watch Inception. Here we go, and it has HDMI output, so you can output this to your high-definition television as well. Let's start it playing. Some jump through this film a bit. This is a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it yet, then uh, go out and watch it. It's absolutely amazing. So uh, there we've got uh, a music player. I've just had an email turn up, so we can shuffle. There you go. Some Biffy Clyro. Um, it's got a library for ebooks. Um, so, for example, here I'm currently reading *A Dance of Dragons* by George R. R. Martin. Much easier to carry around than the actual book itself. If you have a look at a copy of my, this is my wife's copy of the book, and you can see the ePad is a bit easier to carry around and read. Um, it's also got text to speech as well, so you don't even have to use your eyes. Um, YouTube, it's got uh, video conferencing and talk, it's got a camera on, so uh, it's got a 5 megapixel camera and uh, it's also got a camera on the front, uh, hi everyone, that can be used for video calls. But what I really wanted to show you today was why I believe this kind of device might hold a little bit of a window into the future of gaming. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and run a game in DX11 on my ePad. So this is actually now uh, my computer desktop here and I can basically uh, use this to control my computer remotely. So for example I can open up my games folder, but I think we're going to have a go with uh, Sid Meier's Civilization today. And now I haven't tried this, so I'm not 100% certain it's going to work, but we'll see what happens. Okay, well it's doing something. Um, so the screen on here is uh, 1280 by 800 pixels. Um, it's a beautiful screen made with Gorilla Glass, so it's not going to break anytime soon. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, looks like we're in. So I'm going to just start up a single player game. Uh, it's picked me as Elizabeth. So I'll turn the volume down a bit. Um, so basically, this is going to allow me to play my games remotely. And uh, this really is a, a simplised version of the cloud computing that uh, the new OnLive system offers. So here I am, I've got my settlers, let's move them. Let's, uh, let's settle them, shall we? So there we go, we've founded London. And we've got some workers, we'll move those over here. And there you go, it's running, it's using DX11 graphics and what cloud computing allows you to do is run the, com run the program or the game on a remote server uh, and just feed the video back to the device you're watching on. So it means devices like this and even your television will be able to run the most powerful, most uh, dynamically engaging and graphically intensive games on just about any machine because all you're doing is streaming the video and then streaming the controls back. So I think that is pretty darn impressive. 
Now, obviously, this uh, this tablet does have an issue in that it has no real keyboard, um, so the controls for some games are going to be a little difficult. But ASUS have uh, really figured that one out because you can get a docking keyboard for the E-pad, and you just slot it in like so, slide the lock across, and there you have a fully functioning uh, netbook, and the uh, keyboard works as you would expect it to. Um, so for example I can open up a new document in Polaris Office which it comes with and we can type away. Um, so it's a really fantastic machine um, and the keyboard actually, actually has USB uh, connectors so you can connect a mouse to it and it also has gives the machine an extra six hours of battery life uh, the tablet on its own comes with nine hours so there we go and it's easy to release so that's it the Asus ePad transformer running DX11 games now don't you forget this why I should stick my neck out for you is quite beyond my capacity